Hello there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronomerologist. Welcome to your weekly Astro Numerology forecast. This is the forecast where we look at selected highlights in the coming week in the stars and numbers. And the forecast is for all signs. Now let's begin with the first highlight on May 23rd, Tuesday. 23 is the Royal Star of the Lion number, and this date in 2023 adds up to 17. So 17 universal date and a 23 universal day. 17 is the immortality number. So this numerology code is very powerful. Take advantage of it. It's really going to help instill courage and confidence and leadership. And whatever you do is going to leave a legacy behind because of that immortality number. So enjoy that. Now in the stars, we have Mars square Jupiter. This is still part of that T square from last week's Taurus new moon. And it does give you a lot of energy and a strong desire to make a positive impact, uh, positive decisions. You just need to be careful to not overdo the forward momentum or even aggression. So moderate your energy resources during this time, but you have the courage to stand up for yourself and move forward. Just watch that impulsive nature with Mars. Then on Friday, we have Venus activated. Friday the 26th, Venus is sextile Uranus. This is beautiful energy because Uranus is in Venus's sign of Taurus. We just had the Taurus new moon on the 19th. And so this will really activate what you came through during that incredible Taurus new moon, which you can watch on my website, the whole forecast for that new moon, tanyagabrielle.com. But Venus sextiles Uranus is all about excitement in love, in abundance, in your future. And since Uranus is in Taurus, it will help you to stay grounded in a place of a lot of beauty and pleasure. So surround yourself with beautiful things, beautiful music, beautiful art, theater, ballet, whatever you enjoy. And if you feel nervous because of the Uranus activation, then truly redirect into your imagination, into exploring your beautiful downloads, your creativity. And also be open to creating a shift in how you create financial flow. So this will be a wonderful opportunity for that. And then finally, on Sunday, the 28th of May, we have Sun square Saturn. Now this is really going to make things real. The Sun has now moved, of course, into Gemini. And when the Sun, our light and our well-being, squares Saturn, which is responsibilities and boundaries, we can feel more restricted. So you'll want to dissipate any tendency to procrastinate or to worry by working on something diligently, working on a project. And this will raise your self-confidence and your self-confidence is then measured by your willingness to actually get down and get something done. So don't wait for others to propel you to get something done or to praise you, to get you inspired to, to do that, but just get active and know that the seeds that you sow now will return to you exponentially. Now with Venus and Mars so activated this week, it's a wonderful time to dive into the new meaning of those two planets, the divine feminine, sacred masculine. And I have a free masterclass for you at venusmarscode.com where we really look at the number 13. Venus has 13 cycles, just like the moon, the divine feminine, the five pointed star of Venus, the meanings of letters V and M, for Venus and Mars and how they're intertwined. We also cover the real shift that's happening for Mars, moving from aggression to assertion, being aggressive versus assertive, a really big shift. And we're gonna dive into the Mayan calendar as well, because it figures greatly for Venus and Mars in the shift that we're experiencing now. You can watch it all at venusmarscode.com. It's free, it's fun, it's enlightening, and it'll also teach you something about what is shifting within you in terms of the divine feminine and sacred masculine. So enjoy that free masterclass, and I will see you in next week's forecast. Lots of love.